and the TV presenter Gethin Jones has been visiting British troops there ahead of Remembrance Sunday. The former Strictly Come Dancing contestant and Blue Peter presenter has spent the last two weeks filming special reports about the work of troops in theatre. Ali Gibson caught up with him at the end of his journey. Afghanistan may be a far cry from the bright lights of London, but for Gethin Jones, the chance to see the work of British troops on operations is one not to be missed. He's been in theatre for the last two weeks to film for the BBC's Remembrance Week, a special series about the unsung heroes of the front line. The way I look at it is, you know, these guys choose to do this job and when they sign up, they know one of the risks are being hurt, seriously injured or even, or even dying. That's why they're heroes, because they come out here knowing that they still do their job in the worst conditions, 55 degrees of heat, you know, they're, 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 their daily life is really hard, everything's a hassle, eating, going to the toilet, having a shower. Yet they do it to keep us at home safe and that's, that to me is why they are heroes to me and why it's a privilege just to come out here and tell their stories. Have you been out, have this is Gethin's second time today? in Afghanistan and he's seen a real change on the ground since this time last year. Just little things like um, on one patrol road move, uh, we were able to get our heads out of the turrets and have a look around and see a bit of Afghanistan. Uh, we weren't allowed to do that last year. Um, we've been on patrol quite a bit this year and it's been really benign and quiet. So uh, I guess that's a real sense of um, progress, uh, which is lovely to hear. I know the guys out here sometimes have been bored slightly because there's not much going on. But obviously for us at home, that's a great thing because it means they're safe. Taking part in a five kilometre run for World Mental Health Day and meeting troops at various locations, it's been a trip that's made a real impression. Chris up in Herod asking me if I'd like him to brush my back in the shower three times, getting steak and chips up to them after 10 weeks of ration packs, filming with uh, Kaya, uh, with the CLP, an absolutely amazing character, um, being attacked by a lethal beast uh, <laughs> with a dog unit, and, and probably the guys at the hospital, you know, the, the ones that really look after our troops. And the one fact that stays with me out here is that 98% uh, of the guys uh, who get to the hospital uh, stay alive. That's an amazing fact. It's an amazing facility and it's all geared to that. It's all geared to looking after our troops out here and, um, and they do an amazing job on our behalf. You can catch the Remembrance Week specials on BBC One and BFBS One from the 5th of November. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Camp Bastion.